What's going on guys? So a lot of people have requested us to make a video on the cable crunch, so here it is. I know I was stuck doing it very incorrectly back in the day. Please give us a thumbs up and enjoy the video. First and foremost, as you guys know the drill, we're going to three common mistakes. The first one, this is gonna be opposite to all the other videos we make. You don't wanna retract that scapula. This is the one time you want your spine completely bent. So you wanna get that hunch, even when you're lifting up, you wanna hold that hunch, because you have to consider you're actually trying to crunch here. If you have this retracted, you can't really get a good crunch. You need this forward to be able to squeeze into that crunch. And that is number one, as you can see Kyle doing it here. He's got his back very postured, it looks very awkward, it looks like he's trying to kiss the floor, and that's what you're gonna get, as opposed to actually trying to drive that chin all the way down to the knee and really get that big contraction that you're aiming for with this exercise. Number two, guys, is trying to kiss the floor. This is the most common mistake because you're actually completely screwing up your range of motion. Think of a crunch, you're trying to drive yourself all the way forward towards your knee. This is the exact same thing, it's just a different plane of motion coming from the top. So you wanna start with that back hyperextended, and as you guys can see, I'm driving that chin inward. Looks a little silly, I look very hunched, but that's what's gonna give me that squeeze. And then kind of like a 2.5 of sorts is to hold the squeeze. You need to play around until you actually feel the squeeze and you feel all of your abs being worked. If you're going too heavy, you're really gonna screw yourself up because you're not gonna get the contraction you need to make this exercise worthwhile. If you're going too light, you're not gonna feel anything, you're gonna have to rep it for days, and that is another huge issue. So really drive that chin inwards, kind of push everything down, really squeeze in that stomach and focus on that mind-muscle connection. Common mistake number three is distance. I find so many people like to go way too close by going too close, like literally up to here, it's gonna be limiting your range of motion. And a lot of people think they're gonna be working their abs more by going far back here. This is also gonna be limiting your range of motion. So I highly recommend finding your sweet spot, making sure to get a nice squeeze, a nice contraction, and uh, not limiting your range of motion, getting the most out of this exercise. All right guys, from the A to Z of this exercise, I'm gonna keep it American even though we're Canadian. <laughs> We're gonna start from setup to finish. So first and foremost, there's two kinds of setups. Some people go high knees, kind of closer knees, and that'll keep your hip upward more. I like this a lot better, because I get a lot more initial hip flexion, which really helps you drive the force into your core. Whereas the people that have their feet really separated and wide, I find can get a lower range of motion. And a lot of people say to keep your butt down, but I recommend kind of keeping it up, but keeping your hips under flexion to where you can drive into the core, because that's where that whole exercise lies. Like even if you're just standing, you look a bit dumb, but you gotta learn how to squeeze into that core. And I find by starting with that hip flexion and then driving inward into your core region, you're gonna get an amazing contraction. So that's why I would recommend closer knees. If you do find wider knees more comfortable because your hips can get better flexion, that's up to you. Next and most important is your grip. You're gonna get a grip like a Facebook grip. You're gonna grab on. Now here, I really recommend pulling it down all the way to the shoulder. Some people say have, but I find when you let it stretch and move, it's easy to start um, overcompensating by pulling through your arms with your lats, and that's not where we're going for. We want that right on the app. So you're gonna pull that downward here, as you guys can see. I have it nice and close to my head. Now from here, I kinda of get that weird little bend in the back, right? So that's a hyperextension of the back, which is normally a horrible thing in exercise. So this is the one time we're gonna run contrary to that typical rhetoric. But here, past that, I'm driving the chin inward, and I'm trying to put a lot of force on my abs and keep that all the way down to a huge contraction, you guys can see. I like to hold and make sure I'm really isolating the muscle. But on the way up, you're gonna wanna go to where you feel your abs nice and extended. Not overextended, you don't wanna go too high, that's another common issue. You wanna go just where they're fully stretched out and fully contracted, just like any other muscle. Just like a bicep, you extend, you contract, and that's all it is. And with anything you do, that's what's important. But for this one, above all, play around with things, give it a try, and make sure you're actually feeling your abs when doing this exercise. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. If you liked it and you learned something, please smash that like button. It really helps us out. Drop a comment, say what's up, say you liked it. Any questions or comments you have, we're happy to answer. Uh, we have a lot of other great how-to videos, so I recommend you check out our how-to playlist. That's the first link in the bio. Second, we also offer online fitness coaching. If that's something that interests you, you want to take your fitness to the next level, we do macronutrient coaching, programming, form, evaluation, constant support, oversight. We're here for you if that's something you're interested in. Click the second link, watch the video, read the details. We'd love to work with you. Until next time, guys, peace.